Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Yummy Arts Kitchen. Today we proudly present Tammy Utley. Yay. You know you need to get canned applause. I know. We should <laughs> we'll edit that in. That'll be fun. Tammy's going to do some great stuff for us. I'm very excited about this. This is very uh, um, trending, which is going to, I'm, I'm going to let her explain more about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tammy Utley, take it away. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining and not shopping. Well, you can shop online while you watch me. Um, we're going to do a pinata cake today. They're very popular. You know, they, you got cake, you got frosting. Let's put some candy inside it yes. too. Woohoo! Yes. So, so we're gonna put candy inside our cake. And because it's a pinata cake, I actually want mine to look like a pinata. So we're gonna be using wafer paper today. Comes in a giant pack, a ream of a hundred, um, yes. and I cut it into strips. I and I colored it, and, cut, and I'll show you how to do that, and cut it into strips. So we're using wafer paper, so we'll look like a real pinata today. <laughs> um, just remember, you can do this any way you want. If you want to, just pipe you know, have at it. Um, we're gonna be having a special, I used just a special type of pan, you know, a, a very popular, I use this a lot. Believe me, if, this is, if you're gonna buy one specialty pan, this is the one I would get. Um, we're gonna use this because it's just a really good shape for our owl, um, but you can use a bowl or you can use, you know, rounds and, and carve them down. Okay, we're gonna use some buttercream frosting. I need a serrated knife to cut it and a spoon to scoop it out and some scissors. I have a couple sprays here. This is just, I don't own an airbrush, so I just have some canned sprays. Obviously I used a pink spray, but I also um, have some dusting powders too, just in case um, you don't have the spray, you can dust it, although it would be extremely tedious dusting with this. I would suggest getting a can of pink if you're gonna do a pink owl. Uh, what else do I have? I have just a couple of patterns that I cut out for wing and for ears and eyes. I'm just using some uh, round, just whatever you've got around the house, your tips, you know, to just cut, help you cut round, which even with this, I still can't cut it round, but that's another story. Um, and obviously you need some candy. Okay. I actually used um, Skittles in my other, I did another one of these and I used Skittles and it was delicious. But um, I'm just going to use M&Ms today. We're just doing a basic box cake mix. What I have done though is I put it in the refrigerator, actually I think I have it in the freezer, to chill it. You definitely do not want to make the cake and then an hour later start cutting into it because it's going to fall apart. So you really need to make it the day before and then let it sit overnight in the fridge and then just in the refrigerator is fine and then start on it the next day. If you're watching us uh, uh, in another time, uh, she mentioned that you can go do some shopping. That's because uh, yesterday was Black Friday. Two days ago was Black Friday. No, that was yesterday. What was today? Today's it was Saturday. a while ago. Okay. So yesterday <laughs> was Black Friday. Day. Today is Green Saturday. Right. So that's what we shot. That's what she was talking about shopping. But hey, and now back to your regularly scheduled <laughs> show. So anyway, let me go grab the cake real quick. We should have done that before, huh? So I've just got that my cake, it came out of the pan and I wrapped it up. Um, it did rise just a little bit. I'll take this off so that you can see it. I'm not even gonna bother cutting this off because I mean, it was just a little bit of a rise and it just makes a good bottom for my owl. But um, you know, you can certainly cut this flat so you don't have any cracking issues. If you get a big mound when you bake, then definitely cut it flat. I really shouldn't wrap these so well. Yeah. So now okay. we'll spend 15 minutes unwrapping. <laughs> Let that be a lesson. Don't mm. wrap it so well. Well, I always wrap it well because I know somebody is going to eat it, and I don't want it to be stale. And I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> and Michael will be bouncing off the walls later on today mm. because uh, he's going to have cake, frosting, and candy. That's right. So <laughs> That's right. We'll just send them away. Okay. Sugar. Yeah, really, major sugar. Okay, so here it is. It's cute. There it is. And see, it's just got a little tiny mound. Not too bad. Not too bad. I could have cut that off, but why bother? Kind of so, like a little spaceship. Yeah, it does. So There's you could do a spaceship pinata too. I mean, this is this is just really, really easy. So what I'm going to do is, if this were a layered cake, I'd obviously have layers, um, and you can do it in pieces. But I'm actually going to cut it, um, cut it open. I could do two layers, but I think I'm probably just going to do one. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. So I'm just gonna take my serrated knife and get all the crumbs, oh, that's always nice. I'm just gonna cut it around. You can use dental floss to do that too. I don't care that it's straight because we're gonna be slicing it open anyway. Okay, but since I don't cut straight, what I do is I actually will mark, 
across the seam here. And I do that so I know where to fit it back together again. Oh. Yeah, tricky, huh?